Okay. Uh, let's see. So I've learned a couple of things. Okay. Uh, since last time, seeing as, seeing as we're we're officially kind of going. One, we need a lot of coal. I'm gonna go find coal. Okay. Uh, also, our copper is so super backed up. Why? Hmm. We need to be making more things uh, with the copper. No, actually. Well, I okay. So, do we only have one constructor working on copper wire? It looks like that is possibly the case, yeah. Yeah, so you're going to need uh, two, I think. Yes. Maybe more. Okay. I'll have to go check the, check on the mine. Um, if I remember right, the mine... Well, the smelters are 30 apiece. Okay. And we've actually got two smelters feeding into this one factory. So... Ba baseline, you could actually have, what, four four factories total just working on copper wire? Uh, I mean, sure. I would actually almost say put copper, like, on a lower level, maybe? Yeah, and then build or, up like, above it. Or, like, a completely so different level. Because, uh, so, from my solo run, I've more or less come to the conclusion that iron is a giant space hog and needs an entire, like, section to itself. Yeah. Because there's no, there's no easy way to fit all of this in what we currently have. Totally uh, get I might actually version. have to tear up I might actually have to tear up the space elevator and move it elsewhere. What? Uh by the end of the day. Uh, I mean, you know, that's okay, I suppose. It does look awesome where it is right now yes. though. What I could do oh, it, is I absolutely. could maybe feed the copper down to the level below. So rather yeah. than uh, move uh, iron up, move copper down. And then just yeah, let iron expand. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think that's probably the. Uh, I'm going to go grab some uh, stone and junk. And um, the measurement, by the way, so you don't take falling damage if you're dropping between floors. Mm -hmm. I think you want four of those eight by uh, eight by fours, the foundations. Uh, more than that, you start breaking your ankles every time you fall. So if you do four exactly, you will never take damage. And it's actually kind of nice. Oh, nice. Uh, how about can they fix the haunted stairwell texture? Uh, that's a good question. I Honestly, I think a lot of the bugs that were happening before was just that it was very early. And also, I don't think Wanda was having those bugs. So it might have just been uh, multiplayer shenanigans. But I will double yeah. check that for you. Because that was kind of annoying. I, what is this bug? Oh, when I was initially playing with stairwells, they... If you can imagine all of the um, uh, all of the faces that were on the y-axis were kind of shifted down slightly from where they should be, so it looked like there were walls where they shouldn't oh. be, and it looked like there were no borders where they should be, and, and so on and so forth. Um, it just it was an uncanny yeah. valley of textures, basically. It looked almost right, but not. Must grab stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Have we got access to all of the um, stuff with the crystals now that we couldn't, like, scan yes. before? Uh, we have to get an object scanner, I believe, but we can actually go uh, We can go crystal hunting today, which I, I was going to suggest. I'd like to do uh, exploration. Yeah. But, uh, oops, there's a, uh, there's a weapon we can get slightly later on, I think, once we hit... Well, actually... Uh, we should have access to that tech now if you want to go look. Yeah, sure. I'll go and check it out now. Because previously, I think it was just locked for the Elka, eh, Elka Alpha weekend. Uh, but I think we actually can start research on higher tier belts. Okay. Uh, I'm Let just going to quickly pop in here and have a look at what Yeah, there we go. So, uh, if I... I guess, actually, if I select... Uh, no, we should probably do steel production first. I think we need that anyway. Okay. Um, I'll let you but yeah, so there's an improved there's an improved melee weapon called the Xeno Basher that's like a lightsaber stick. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that sounds rather so I think powerful, actually. Yeah. It, it makes it makes a really powerful noise. I don't know how much more damage it does, but you know that like boss creature that spooked you last time. Mm hmm. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I have killed one of those successfully at this point. So. Okay. They're, uh, they're susceptible to Xeno bashing. So we're working on steel production right now, but what? Oh, wow, there's so much more. Let's see. Because I couldn't see um, tier 4 before, so yeah. Steel ingots, foundry. Oh, miner mark 2. Nice. Yep. That just doubles production. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
it says 120, but really it's just, uh, that's just for like, I think normal veins. I'm not entirely sure how it, how it works. Uh, but I had a bunch of pure veins and it was spitting 240 without a boost. And it's like, well, that's, that's more than I can generally work with. Mm-hmm. Lundi 6-3, conveyor belt 3, storage mark 2. So it's a double stacked storage. Nice. That won't be too bad. Yep. I wish it hmm. had uh, upper and upper inputs and outputs too. Unfortunately, I think they're still like lower. And oh, there's still only no two. More. Oh, that's a little bit of pain then. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, we've got most of the stuff we need. The rotor's going to be a massive pain because we haven't actually automated rotor production yet. Actually, surprisingly, rotors are... Because it's just rotors a, are surpri surprisingly easy to make. It's just an assembly uh, machine, though, isn't it? Because it, it's made of two parts. Yeah, yeah. You're just going to need an assembler, and it's iron rods and screws, I think, which isn't bad. I, I found the reinforced iron plates are worse. Okay. But maybe that's just because my production was was bad. But you need a lot more uh, reinforced iron plates for like T T2 belts and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, you also need them for those uh, those square frames. Because I think motors yeah. you only need for motors, and you generally don't need motors for like anything. And once again, since uh, we've only just started the screen, the stream, so it bears repeating. Uh, normally we are a lot more chatty with chat, but um, uh, but since we're uh, both, uh, since we're we're doing this. Uh, cooperatively and we can't always tell when someone's going to be talking when someone's not going to be talking and you know it only makes sense to half the chat we're not going to be as interactive with chat as usual but we are both reading everything that is typed so thank you very much Yo. for everyone subbing there we go all right okay so okay I'm going to be uh, focusing a little bit on just moving the copper down a level, just to get that done. Yep. Um, if you uh, if you head down the ramp a little bit, I've actually got a sizable area built for you already. Oh, awesome. Oh, oh of course, yeah, because we got a ramp over on this side. There I was, look, thinking of popping yeah, down I'm, a ramp on the I'm going to make another ramp up the other direction, but I wanted yeah. to get the platform down first, maybe? Yeah, no, that, that makes... No, no. Uh, it does kind of make sense to me, honestly. Getting all of this done yeah. first. Yeah, because if we just bring her over to the side and then send her a ramp up, then I can uh, bring conveyors down. Yeah, that's the plan. Oh, I'm so used to Factorio. Uh, I, I, I grabbed loads of concrete. And, well, actually, is that all that's involved in uh, the construction of uh, foundations? Foundations? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. not too bad then. Because I, I was like, oh, yeah. but I can't make things in my pocket. It's like, yes, yes, you can, actually. Fine. I actually kind of, I really like the fact that you don't have to like prefab, uh, you know, conveyor belts and stuff. Yeah. You just have to have the, the raw resources. I was actually thinking about that yesterday when I was playing. I was like, oh, okay, now I got to figure out, you know, some kind of assembly machine to make the uh, the conveyor belts. So I can just have a stack of them on hand at all times. So wait, wait a second. No, 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 no. That's not how this game works. Yeah. There's lots of things that I'm really liking about the way this game handles the automation. Oh no, I put it below it. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. It's there now, because I'm too lazy to pull it back up. Oh, we're both working now. I'm like, <laughs> uh, why are there two ghosts? Yep. Did, it, did, did we hit a bug? <laughs> nope, nope, nope. We're just getting each other's way, as, as the saying goes. Too many chefs. Yep. I gotta go get more concrete. I like the way that the um, components just fly off as well to construct. Yeah. It's actually incredibly There's a, What other games do that? Not many. There we go. And I think it's I mentioned... Visual effects. Yeah. I think I mentioned uh, last stream as well how much I enjoy the way you, it's like being nano-fabricated as well. And it actually looks yeah. like white hot and then it starts to cool down. Oh, hi. That's a new one. Oh, am I out? Uh, the game crashed on me. That's Aha! actually a first. That's why. That's why suddenly my buildings were going being built. Well, drop down and blast. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, so, <laughs> let's start a counter. 
Last time it was the ca right. only crashing due to death. But now we've got a legitimate crash that has just occurred. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't consider blasting off into space as a legitimate crash. I consider it us <laughs> being scallywags. Yeah, that that's that's pushing the game in places that they probably never intended us to go, as opposed to us making a basement. That's that's a little bit more more of a yeah. Wow. <laughs> right, I'll drop back out to the main menu, and you just send me another invite when you're ready. Yep. Uh, let's see. Hope I can just hit continue. I don't know where it's going to drop us. Probably not too far back. It auto saves constantly. Yeah. Hey, yo, Casa. Whilst, whilst we're in the main menu, I can say thank you to everyone who's just subscribed again and also all the bits. You're all lovely, lovely people. Thank you. Okay. So it looks like it's thrown my basement back a little ways. Okay. Yeah, oof. About 100, 100 uh, foundations? Ah, that's not too bad. That's not so bad. Do you send the invite from within the game or... Well, you actually yes, would be, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, because there is no lobby. Yeah, I think. I, I think you can just lobby. join yeah. off of me whenever you want. Uh, uh, it, I don't actually. Except see for I don't. Guys. What the? Yeah. There is a no you. Yeah, I don't see you. Period. Okay. Mm. Well, I'm just gonna save the game properly and be like, uh, herp herp. Uh, I can see other people's uh, games. Oh no, there we are. I can see you. Have you come oh. out of the game? Uh, let's see, invite player. It says you're offline for me. Oh, uh, well, it's fine. I can see your game now is actually showing up. So let me go ahead and join. See if you can just join off of that. And if not, I'll maybe just both restart or something. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. It, it may uh, it may, may kind of uh, do the whole thing of not letting me in. Oh, no, there we are. All right. But what if I look? Hey. Oh, we should have tested something while we had the chance. I should have gone to a place where I had just built something. And then seeing if uh, me logging back into a world where that hasn't been built yet causes me to plan it to my death, or if the game is like, nope, nope, this is an invalid location, let me just keep oh. looking for a valid one until I find one. I I can't imagine it would like that. You gotta test these things. No, it's true. That, that, that is totally the, the engineer in me. He's like, well, okay, so <laughs> let's think of all the ways yeah. that the player could break this game. And do our best I to guess account I, for them. I, I usually, uh, I usually just kind of wait for the games to break on me, and it usually obliges. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing, though. No, uh, it's not. I mean, I was a decent uh, QA tester for like a little while. Oh, did you actually do you know proper QA testing, as in uh, paid sort, sort of? So. I worked at a uh, I worked at a game studio that did uh, SpongeBob SquarePants stuff. Okay. And uh, originally I was supposed to be an animator, more or less fixing animations for like old old broken games that they wanted to like keep. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of my job. But then they ran out of work for me to do and didn't really feel like giving me anything useful. Yeah. So while they were kind of waiting to lay me off, they're like, "Uh, you can be our in-house QA guy." And so I had like a crash course for a couple months as as QA. Ah, oh, still uh, cool though. The studio. It was interesting. A few more months of paid work. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was little actual uh, actual like instruction, so I didn't entirely know how to do any of the like, you know, QA reporting ah, stuff. Right, okay. Yeah. Very ad hoc. So, yeah. It was not very surprising when I got laid off. Nor terribly upsetting. Well, it was, you know, they, they haven't got yeah. work. They haven't got work. Ultimately, kind of a sign now, of the time sometimes. Well, actually, uh, I, they actually replaced me almost immediately with one of my old classmates, which is kind oh. of interesting. Yeah, hmm. I, it was very obvious that like I don't think uh, they wanted me for my animation skills, right? Okay, uh, or my art skills or whatever, which like was fine. I'm not exactly uh, skilled at animating Spongebob in interesting ways over and over again. Um, Still, that's kind of like rude. With many O's. It was, rude. A rude. it was a little rude. But I was like, they replaced me with a, a a classmate that was like demonstrably worse than me. I don't know what their plan was. And oh, apparently they had no plan. They just replaced me with I, somebody else. 
uh, and then fired her, I think, within, like, a couple months, so it was just like, I, I don't know what their plan was, and I'm kind of glad I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it really does go like that, okay. though. Yeah, you, you're kind of like, eh, might have dodged the bullet on that one, actually. Yeah. I'm going to stop still being the chef that's spoiling the broth, and I'm going to go and start... Why don't you start putting the, uh, the copper down? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking would be the best idea. Uh, I'll make enough room for two... Um, two ramps. Two ramps. You want two yeah. ramps. And put the copper line on the outside, because once we get up to T3 belts, you straight up can't walk on those. Oh, really? They move too fast? Yeah. They move too fast. Oh, they will right, push right, you right. Okay. the other direction. So, okay. before YouTubing stuff, what did you do? You said engineering you. Did you actually do, like, engineering stuff? Uh, no, no. I, I mean, yeah, I kind of... Uh, the, the actual degree I did on YouTube is Natural and Artificial Intelligence, though so I didn't end up finishing it because I took a gap year to see, ah, oh, yeah, this YouTube stuff is going interestingly. Yeah, I'll take a gap year, oh. see how it goes. And it's like, ah, it went surprisingly well. I'm not going back. Yeah, so the, the internet stole you from uh, your education. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. As it does with That's many people, I suppose. Well, the thing is, is I um, I have a sometimes controversial opinion that if you go into education to get a job, like you, you go into, I don't know, law, intending to get a law-related job, eh, with the way the degrees work, because, you know, you go back 50 years and not many people had degrees, so having a degree guaranteed you a job in the thing that the degree was for. Yeah. Nowadays... Most people, I don't know, that's, that's probably a very bold claim, but a lot of people, let's say, have degrees to the point where having a degree does not necessarily mean you'll get the job for that degree. Oh, no. Um, not even close. Having a very good mark in a degree will open up other doors. Like, you know, you get a first, then that's going to open up doors that are just, like, closed unless you can prove you're a really good learner or you're very self-motivated. You know, if you get a first in your degree, it's like, well, yeah, that that speaks of skills other than the thing I learned about. But um, no, I was doing I was doing quite well, and I figured, well, I can't if I take a year off YouTube, my channel's gonna die. Um, but it, the precedent is there for me to take a uh, a year off education, just do some practical stuff, or just you know discover myself kind of stuff. And so yeah, I'll use that for YouTube, and then just didn't come back. I it was yeah. um, studying what I was studying because I was very interested in it, rather than thinking I'm gonna get a job at the end. So I, I didn't feel that I'd lost anything by it. Um, it works. I need to... I know we can make, like, stacked conveyors now, can't we? It'll be under logistics. Yes. Yeah, there we go. That needs plates. Uh, yeah, got enough, got enough of everything, actually. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll make one stacked conveyor on the outside of the walkway. I keep thinking, like, I need to go back and craft things, but no. No, I don't. Everything is being made over here already. It's fine. But yeah, I, I know too many people who, who've got very amazing, like, intimidatingly good degrees, and then they're just working in customer service. I, I don't have much faith Ooh. in... Uh, yeah, I don't have much faith in, in a degree getting you a job, but a degree opening doors is a very different thing, and I do believe that that is still very much a, a thing that you can aim for. Um... But yeah, like, you know, <laughs> this is one of those things. Too many people, not enough yeah. jobs. Well, I think there's plenty of jobs. It's just the jobs don't want. <laughs> They'd rather jam like one person in and then uh, make them do the work for two or three. Chat, you are my witness. Wander is trying to kill me again. What? I'm onto you, Wander. Why is that not allowed to build? Hmm. Is that not there? Is that a... Huh. I'm over, over here are with... Are you trying to put in... Um... I was by the ramp. Like, right in front yes. of me, is there a floor? Yes, there is. Game, why are you lying to me? Okay. <laughs> is there just nothing there? There is nothing there. Um... I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Here, I, uh, I need... I'm gonna... I'm gonna tear it up. Okay. Why don't you just put one down? Is okay. it gone? Well, yeah, of course it's gone. See if you can put one down. Hmm... Come on. Let, no, it's now not letting me try to put something. I, oh, I got so much stuff, but I'm too lazy. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. Now there is one below. I fall onto yeah. it. Yeah. Am I falling yeah. through a floor for yeah, you? Yeah, that's there. No, no, no. I, I put that floor there. Okay. I was like, well, at the very least, like, 
There will be a floor, oh, no, so it's not going to be too freaky. It's working now. Oh, oh okay. thank God. The game is way too early. Don't do this to me yet. Wait until later. I I went back, by the way, to to look at the uh, my side of things when I when I dropped you uh, off the staircase. Mm -hmm. You were behind me for one hundred percent of the me murdering you thing. <laughs> so like, I had no idea you were there. Even like after the fact, I didn't find out that you were even really near me until you died. And I was like. Yeah, I really am blameless, sort of blameless. Mm -hmm. has oh. mm -hmm. its analysis. Mm -hmm. I'll just leave three, uh, a stack of three belts there just so that we can get things down. Now I need to pop some at the very bottom as well. Okay, so what is, what is the man? What do we even do with the man? Oh, alien carapace. Not R &D sure where that's going, has but... repurposed a common engineering tool to assist you in your defense against the local wildlife. The blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 3. Oh. What have we got? A uh, rebar gun. Oh. Uh, so there is a gun in this game. Okay. That sounds actually quite I, good. Yeah. I, I'm i going to set that as our current milestone, because the other ones are kind of a pain. Sure. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, building in this game is so incredibly satisfying. Just watching the conveyor belts just materialize is just incredibly fun. I, yeah, I, I like it how they they don't just kind of appear oh, as one one thing. They they extend. Uh, I just realized the thing. <laughs> the direction I build these things in matters. For obvious reasons. The game, oh, yeah. The game doesn't know yeah, what I'm does. thinking. It's not telepathic. Yeah. Uh, the game gets upset at you if you uh, build it the other way. I had... Uh, it, it actually gets kind of buggy here and there. Uh, what was I doing? I was playing... I guess I was actually just making a giant coal line yesterday. Um, I extended it fairly... Like, fairly far down, like, a cliffside. Oh. And... Oh, I just connected it as normal, and what do you know, I've somehow managed to layer a conveyor belt going back through itself and then around in some weird corkscrew. It's absolutely an invalid placement. It's like, I, how is this, how'd this happen? Because yep. the game's like always stopping you from doing the interesting, or from like doing the regular thing. It's like, yep, nope, there's some kind of collision. It's like, no, there isn't. Get, get out of here with that. I totally uh, was looking at the bottom of the belts, thinking that, that was showing me the direction of the belts, but this game is actually being sensible. The bottom of the belts is, is the belts coming back up before they twist around oh. on the top and go back down, so it actually works like a, a real-life conveyor. Go figure. That's I'm sweet. such a dip. Such a dip! Uh, sure, we'll pop a stack belt over here. The nice thing with these belts, actually, is the default height of the belt stacker allows you to walk underneath the belt. Yes. That's actually I've really actually nice. been using them just to make my base walkable. Yeah. No, that's, that's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. It may stay. Right, okay, we want a storage down the bottom. Oh. Hey, you know what? We could probably tear up those old biomass... Uh, generators. I don't think we're going to need them anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, by all means. I just was looking at in my inventory, and I've got, like, 400 biomass sitting around. I'm like, wait a second, there's, there's no use for this. All right, I'm going to leave a bit of room so that I can uh, move these belts around as needed, but the main bulk storage of copper should probably be here. One sec. There we go. Right, time to start moving all of the production of copper down below. Oh, well done on unlocking the milestone as well. We have a god now. 
I wonder if there's probably not friendly fire in this game. There better not be. That'd be... Both hilarious and also really annoying. <laughs> yeah. Probably equal measure, actually. It's gonna kind of be annoying, isn't it? Uh, Alright, let's get rid of some of this belt. Oh my lord, I'm gonna take a huge chunk of it out. Oh well. Top. Wait, there is? Apparently we can hit each other. I mean, I, I'd like to say I was surprised, but I'm not really. Do you got your wrench handy? Uh, Xena Zappa. Let me figure out where you are. Give me a smacko. Okay, you sure? All right. I I don't know. Uh, you recover up to three HP, and I'm at three HP. Oh yeah, there is friendly fire. You can you can absolutely smack me in the face. I love that's actually what I did. I was considering well, I could should go for a body shot just in case it's headshots. No, no, I'm gonna go for the headshot. Whoa, pow! <laughs> it's really yeah. violent as well. It's, it's, there's no like I'm just gonna touch you with the the electric key bit, and that should do the job. No, it's no. a full on stab in the face. I normally with like tasers you just kind of press it into a person, but no, here here we just punch. Yep, it is it's a full on taser punch. Yep, yep. Ah. It, 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 if if we don't do damage with the if we don't shock them, then the, you know the gouging of the eyes will probably do the trick. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like a bit brutal, but okay. All right, okay. So we're moving this down. I'm gonna split this up so that we're producing a couple of uh, bits and bobs. I'm also going to start moving this around to the side. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that it would probably be wise to continue lifting stuff up onto the conveyors, onto the stack conveyors, rather than running them along the ground, just so that it's walkable, as you were saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. Though, out of curiosity... Looks nicer than what I had set up. Out of curiosity, when you said you couldn't walk on the conveyors threes was that because they moved too fast for you to walk against them or they straight up don't let you Correct. walk on them right right okay no, they're just that, so fast and there we can go up to conveyor fours in this game okay but i haven't gotten there yet that's i approve now can this be built up Ooh, can i build it up is there any some sort of like um thing that'll allow me to build a structure up like a scaffolding or something like that not that I know of. I think you're going to have to use the, uh... I think you're just going to have to use the... The... Eh, the regular foundations. Scaffolding would be nice, though. Oh, well. Because I was actually... I wanted to have aerial splitters that you could walk under. Yeah, that's, that that's what really I was nice. literally just thinking about, but it's like, nah, oh well. Yeah. Now, what can you do? I think it's actually almost to the point of we're supposed to make walkways go above. Actually, oh, that's question. a good idea. Damn, we, both of us um, are like, hmm, walkways, eh? Did we, did we actually learn how to make walkways? I, I'm looking yes, at it. Yes, we did. Did we? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, so we did. Okay, well, I mean, we could do that. Huh. Oh, that's, that's a darn shame. Hmm. I was really hoping you could actually connect walkways to the, uh, To the like the constructors, because if you look at a constructor, they've got that like uh, metal plating up top. Yeah, I'd, I'd noticed that but earlier, it, and I was wondering what that would be it, useful for. But it's um, not, it's not a valid location. Oh well. Still, I think you can build them off uh, the observatories, though. Oh, I should actually use these for uh, for making ramps around. Walkways are kind of cheaper. And mainly they have the railing. And I don't have to do like weird tricks to go up. Well, that's cool. That Question. Can I, can I have conveyor belts go up a walkway? The answer is right. no. Milestone exchange concluded. 
Fix it freighter reentry complete. What? No. So you can't have conveyor belts go up walkways. You also can't attach foundations to walkways. Okay. Shame. So first and foremost, lots of copper wire. Yeah. Actually, can I walk into that? I can. Ha ha! Perfect. I approve. Very well then. Little by little, I'm starting to get a, little, a bit better at visualizing how I should set up all of the constructions in here. Yeah, I honestly, once you kind of know how things lay out, it's actually not so bad. It's just the initial bit where you're like, okay, so I need to make rotors. How? <laughs> how am I going to fit all of that? I mean, we still have a lot of space up here. Yeah, that's Actually, I may need to put these back there. Let's see. Some of the buildings are just just slightly inconvenient sizes, so you can never have them be yeah. completely. Symmetrical. I really wish I really wish the constructors and smelters and whatnot were sized perfectly with the uh, foundation blocks. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just thinking about. Uh, I need iron plates. Okay. Oh, fuck it. I usually try and organize my base layout based on the width of constructors. So usually what I do is whenever I'm like adding a new section, I just lay down a bunch of constructors in parallel. Yeah, and then sense. line up everything else in association. Do we have any I kind of work light? Or anything like that? Uh, press V. Oh, I was meaning like things you could build, but no, that, that's cool. Yeah, got V turned on now. Uh, let's see. I haven't seen a work light, which... Uh. Yeah, that is actually kind of disappointing. Um, That'd be kind of a neat upgrade for like power poles or something. Yeah. If you could actually like attach a light to them. Yeah, that at the cost of cool. say one power line. I don't know. Huh. The audio is clipping for me in a vac stream. Oh. It's all fine on this end. I wonder if it's a Discord thing. M maybe. Hmm. You don't sound like. Uh, there's any clipping here. Oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. I bet I haven't changed my thresholds on on Discord very well. Uh, yeah. I just had to lower the uh, threshold. So hopefully, as I move around, I don't like drop out. Fingers crossed. That screws. That's. I don't think we've made automatic construction of reinforced plates. That's definitely going to be something we need to do. Yeah. Wow. We're going to need to be producing a bunch of reinforced plates, less rotors, and we're also going to need those like frames. Luckily, basic steel stuff is actually really cheap, which is kind of nice. Let's see. Where's the jelly? Jelly's over here. I keep getting myself confused with the uh, requirements to build certain things. I keep thinking in terms of Factorio. Constantly doing that. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, what? what? I'm, Clearly, I need concrete for this, I'm, though. It's reinforced. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 you need screws. Oh. Hmm. I am forever glad that we don't have to go through as many resource chains just to make, well, I guess honestly, conveyor belts. Oh boy. Oh, I can't just destroy that. I am just currently trying to melt the crafting plate. 
making these reinforcements. But you're plates. trying to melt them, what? The crafting plate, I'm just holding down. I'm just, oh. make all of the things, and well, it's slowly getting hot. It's, it's satisfying. Oh, uh, what are you making? I uh, just reinforced plates. Oh, yeah, that would do it. I, I will say, don't bother too much with uh, T2 belts. Oh, okay. What is uh, that? Once we get steel, it's straight up just three steel is a T3 belt. Ah, okay. So we can just make loads of them really fast. Okay, good advice there then. The only places I've used T2s though have generally been where I needed it to um, create enough throughput to handle two stacked T1 belts. Yeah. No, it's entirely fair. It's just like so they're usually uh, on very short little little bits and only when I needed. But I will bear that in mind because uh, any further ones I need, I'll just hold off until we get T three. I hope they expand the uh, the tiers a little bit. I more or less like hit T two and T four at the same time, and I'm like, I don't. Well, okay, <laughs> goodbye. I love goodbye how we've still got death markers around. It's like, hmm. Oh yeah, because we haven't gone to find our corpses. Yeah. Fair enough. We probably should. I mean, it certainly makes it a little harder for me to find you when I'm looking around. I'm like, okay, so where's the vet? Uh, well, I see everybody's corpses. I also had that like weird phantom player symbol last time that was yeah. green. And so now I've got a green. I think, was it green? I think it was green. And now I've got an actual player symbol for you and it's confusing me. <laughs> ah, poop! Keep running out of stuff. How dare it? How dare? I need some sort of jump pad. Oh, that's a good point. Should make there jump are jump pad. pads, yeah. in fact. Yeah, I think jump pads are very soon going to be in our future. Oh. Huh. They changed the layout of my coal mine a little bit, and it's confusing me. How? Oh, right. So when uh, when the um, in the early access, they tweaked some um, like bounding boxes. or yeah, something. Yeah. So previously, there were two coal mines right next to each other. Uh, oh boy. Uh, yeah. Previously, there were two coal mines right next to each other. And one of them had a big rock on it, which I... Oh, no, it's still there. Yeah, there's just a giant freaking rock on top of one of these coal mines. We have four coal mines down here, by the way. Wow. I have no idea how to get rid of this giant rock, though. Next, I'm going to have to start moving down power. Floor is too steep. <laughs> well, either way. That bloody message. Go away! I don't care. Leave me alone. I, I was trying to put I was trying to put the mining machine on top of the boulder because I, as far as I know, there's no dynamite yet. Right. And so I don't actually know how to uh, get rid of the giant boulder. Well, let's see. Oh, I must say, I'm quite pleased with the uh, potential positioning of the power poles. That's actually pretty cool. Like, if you just build them next to the uh, the conveyor, the stack conveyors, if you've got three above, it it's more or less the same height. It just looks like it, it's oh. meant to be there. It fits together very, very nicely, I, I feel. I'd almost kind of... I, I hope they add, like, weird optional snapping and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It'd be cool if you could also, like, put power poles into buildings as well in a couple other places. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. By the way, you know that stupid uh, conveyor staircase I made? Yeah. Uh, it is now piping coal up to our base. That is fantastic. I approve. Are we gonna We're going to need have to it? replace it with the faster stuff, though, because this is painful. Oh, yes. It was very painful to just walk up there, to be fair. I'm just going to wait. Oh, uh, until it drops me off the side. Nope, I'm good. Okay. I remember doing that, though. So I remember waiting, being really, 
really stubborn about it. And, oh my god, it took so long. It's uh. a long drop. <laughs> but like the alternative is, I, I guess I could have. Uh, made jump pads and like figured out some kind of truck route, but eh, that doesn't sound very fun. 